Hello and welcome to Vampire Survivors. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. I'm here, I'm playing this game, everyone's played it already, I know, yes, I am very late to the party and I'm kind of disappointed about that actually because this is an amazing game, it really is. And uh, I'm going to show it to you today, if you haven't seen this yet, then you really need to pay attention to this. It is extremely cheap on Steam, super, super cheap. I don't even understand why it's really that cheap, to be honest. I think it has so much replay replayability, and it's just amazing. Anyway, this is the meta system, basically. You can pretty much just go here, spend your gold from the uh, various levels that you do to gain uh, permanent buffs that you can take into the levels themselves. You can use the keyboard and uh, that's pretty much it. You can use a, uh, I think a gamepad as well, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I have a number of characters unlocked at the moment. You can unlock more with gold, as you can see down at the bottom there. And they all have different stats and they all have different abilities and they all start with different things. So for example, um, I, I played with Imelda just now, um, a, a little bit of time ago today. And I love her. I think she is absolutely amazing because she starts with a magic wand, which is a um, sort of like an automatic, um, it, it just attacks in every single direction without you having to really aim it. So it's super, super easy. And she also gains additional experience every five levels, as you can see right there, 10% more experience, super nice for leveling up really, really quickly. Um, Pasqualina is who we are going to be actually playing with at the moment because I have not played with her yet. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. Projectiles get 10% faster every five levels. So at level 15, projectiles will be 30% uh, faster. So that's really, really nice. I'd like to play with the rest of these people, um, but unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to just yet because I need the gold for it. I could potentially refund some of my power-ups to unlock them, but I haven't played with Pasquali Pasqualina anyway. Um, the first guy is very much similar to the Castlevania character, the main character in that, uh, because he has a whip. Yes, he has a whip. All right, so let's play with Pasqualina here, and I actually unlocked the dairy plant. Um, I was playing on the inlay library. Personally, I think the inlaid library is one of the most fun stages so far. I think the Mad Forest is very difficult. At least I find it very difficult. I thought the inlay library was a lot easier, but maybe it's just because I was playing with a character that I really liked. Anyway, we're going to be playing on the new map. The magic map hidden in here might finally lead us to a vampire, or at least to more roast chicken. All right, let's do this. Okay, so what does she actually have? Okay, so she has this. Okay. Okay, this is... This is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a homing... Homing sort of thing. Uh, I, I don't know what the arrow is leading me to at the moment, by the way. I, As I say, I have never been here before, so this is very interesting. And generally, you can kill most enemies at the very start in one hit with your starting ability. And there you go, there's the level up. So basically every single enemy has a chance to drop experience and then you can pick up that experience and then you can do wonderful things with it by selecting randomly, um, randomly chosen abilities at every single level up and that's pretty much it. Now obviously all of these abilities are automatic. They are all automatic, the only thing you need to worry about is your movement. It's super, super straightforward. Obviously, if you've played this before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, there are no other buttons that you need to press, as far as I am aware, at least. Maybe I've missed something. But yeah, there are no others that you need to press, so I'm gonna be taking, uh, I'm actually gonna take the knife this time. I've taken garlic multiple times, and it's amazing. Garlic is really, really good, and I might actually take it later on, but I'm gonna take the knife. I feel like the knife is really underpowered, um, so maybe it's a mistake. <laughs> maybe it's a mistake that I just took this. I feel like the knife is not really that good, but maybe I just need to use it a little bit better. Now, we can obviously aim up here. I've got to be really, really careful about not taking too much damage, and I have to go back and you know circle around, pick up some more of this experience. Thank you very much. The really, really cool thing about the other character as well is that you have the ability to literally just run around wherever, and she's going to attack at least early game, without any issues whatsoever. You don't need to aim any of her abilities, and it's super, super nice, at least initially. 
and then obviously you can customize your character build however you want as the levels progress and as you can see i'm taking a little bit of damage right there but thankfully we have leveled up okay so what do we want to do oh the cross aims at the nearest enemy has a boomerang effect i'm gonna be taking that thank you very much there's the cross Ooh, that looks great i like it yeah I, i'm liking the cross quite a bit maybe we can um maybe we can level that up and uh, hopefully we can get some good results from it oh that was some damage wow that uh, that mine cart did a lot of damage right there that's pretty nice yeah, I should have definitely taken garlic. I, I now very much regret not taking that. Every single time I do a run and I don't take garlic, I always think to myself, why didn't I take that? It's basically a uh, damage shield, by the way. So when you move close to enemies, it does damage in, an, in a sort of area around you. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, let's have a look here. What do we want to take? Rune Tracer? Yep, sure, we'll take the, the base damage increase and we'll try to increase our base ability. Maybe that's going to be kind of good. we got to be super careful here. I'm really, really worried. I don't have a lot of faith in my abilities at the moment, to be honest. I feel like my abilities are really, really weak right now. I felt very much stronger on, uh, on the previous character, to be honest. Okay, let's have a look. Base damage up, lightning ring, erases everything in sight? <laughs> okay, I should not have taken that. I think that was... Oh, um, oh yeah, this... Th 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 uh, no, uh, uh, th yeah, yeah, this is, this is kind of bad. This is, this is, this is real bad. Okay, uh, there's a treasure chest up there. The, one of the arrows is actually going to the treasure chest. I would like to be able to go up there if possible. And there we go. Okay. Uh, weapons fire more projectiles. Yes. Give me that. Okay. This is better. This is better. Ooh, ooh. Uh, this is actually wor working a lot more to my favor than I thought. But obviously, more projectiles means more damage, which is exactly what we want. There's the treasure chest. Can I get there without dying? Yes, I can. Fantastic. All right, so treasure chests, they contain gold, as you might expect, but they also contain some random ability upgrade. And in this case, I have gained the cross upgrade, and that's going to give me something real nice. Yep, there we go. Base damage up by 10. And um, if you are lucky, it will actually increase other things as well. So it will increase... Um, it, it can increase up to three, as far as I'm aware, up to three abilities, but you have to be kind of lucky for that to happen, so just bear that in mind. Anyway, we're going to continue moving down now. Uh, swinging around generally is a really good idea, because if you swing around, then you have more opportunities to retrieve experience. Can I, can I please, can I please do damage to these, to these little squid things? Oh no. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You can see exactly what, what I'm talking about, though. Things literally get super, super crazy. I'm going to go for Duplicator once again, so we can get even more projectiles. That seems to be working quite nicely for me. And let's move back this way once again. Oh, there's the pentagram coming up. And it basically just raises everything around me. I, you know... Uh, I shouldn't have taken that, to be honest. Uh, I shouldn't have taken that, because what it does is it doesn't give you experience, right? It doesn't give you experience for anything it kills. It just literally removes things from the screen, which, in my opinion, is good. I think it's good, but obviously not giving you experience in the process of doing that, eh, not the greatest, you know? Not the greatest thing ever. All right, what's this? Uh, gonna go for lightning ring, I guess. Oh, what's this? Yep. Nice. That's going to give me all the experience on the map at the moment. There we go. And we're going to take another cross. And there's another level up. There we go. And we're going to go for Rune Tracer. Another level up for that. And there we, there's another level up. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's pretty crazy, right? And we're going to go for level 2 Pentagram. So that reduces the cooldown by 10 seconds, which is actually, I think, kind of good. But maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh yeah, now the enemies have been upgraded, so sometimes, um, I think it depends on the timer. I'm not entirely sure what it actually depends on, I think it does depend on the timer. Uh, the enemies are going to get gradually harder, as you might expect, but they do have various waves where the enemies then downgrade 
back to a sort of regular level and then you're going to be able to farm them really really easily for experience and these waves are the ones where you have to be very quick to eliminate most of the enemies so you can gain just as much experience as possible it really makes a huge difference to your overall level and there's some roast chicken right there if i wanted to get that then i could but i don't think i will at the moment i'm gonna go down here to this arrow i actually don't know where the arrow leads as i say i've never been on this particular map before so this is going to be kind of interesting to see is there actually anything down here i mean i'm not seeing anything right now i might do i mean does it actually need me to to go down there i'm kind of i'm kind of thinking to myself maybe it's just i don't know because uh, generally you're going to go all the way there and then you're going to think oh well there's nothing here and then I've just literally wasted all of this experience because generally I have a lot of experience up above because obviously I've been killing things. Okay, we've got to be careful, got to be careful. Don't get hit too much. And that's the point. Basically, the game is all about balancing out your... Um, shall we say your experience gain with the timer so you know when enemies gain levels and when enemies are super super powerful you really want to have the ability to be able to fight those obviously so generally gaining experience is actually one of the best things you can do if you can stay ahead of the curve which is obviously the the main the main point here if you can stay ahead of the enemies levels then you're going to have a really nice time all right, we're going to take Rune Tracer once again. Seems like Rune Tracer seems pretty good. I, I think it seems kind of nice at the moment. Seems to be doing some pretty decent damage. I'd like to get more upgrades for it, but unfortunately, I just, I'm not killing enough, you see. I mean, you see, you see how much damage I'm doing right now. I mean, the knife is not really doing that much. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, Pentagram actually helps quite a bit because you can now pick up all the experience, which is quite nice. So it's not that bad, but as I say, you don't get the experience for what you uh, erase from the screen. But I guess it's it's okay. I think it's all right. Uh, I'm gonna take armor, reduce damage, and what's this? Nice. Okay, so that basically just freezes all the enemies on the screen for a certain period of time, which is actually quite good. And that means that I'm gonna be able to move around, pick up all the experience from here. Don't get killed now. Don't get killed. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Everything is working quite nicely. Now, bear in mind, on my other character, um, in my previous run, I survived for, I think, 20, mm, 28 minutes. I think, yeah, 28 minutes on the previous map. And you may think, oh, that's uh, that's quite a long time. Uh, yeah, it is actually quite a long time. That was, that was the longest time that I've ever survived, because beforehand... I was literally dying within the first four minutes. <laughs> so that was a pretty lucky run, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure whether it's luck or whether it was just the fact that I, I very much enjoyed the previous map. I personally felt like the previous map, the inlaid library is just amazing. It's super, super nice. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just a, a really, really cool one for me. Oh, hello there. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, I don't know what happened there, to be honest. I really have no idea. Um, okay, then now this is a little bit problematic because I'm really wanting to get 10% additional damage for all of my abilities, so I'm probably going to take that. But the Lightning Ring one increases its AoE area by uh, 10%, which would have been... Or 100%? Did it say 100%? If it said 100%, I probably should have taken that, to be honest. That probably would have made more sense. I just took a massive amount of damage as well, trying to move away from these Minotaurs. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of harsh. Um, is there still some roast chicken over there to the right, by the way? I think there might be. Okay, there we go. I've frozen all the enemies once again. I'm just going to try and pick up all the experience in this area, try and level up. Let's get some more rune tracers. Seems like rune tracer seems to be quite good, surprisingly. I mean, maybe not surprisingly, but it seems quite good. Okay, I don't see any of the, uh, there's the, there's the roast chicken, there's the roast chicken that I was talking about, there we go, it gives me 30 HP back. As far as I'm aware, every single character has 100 HP, unless stated otherwise, I think. 
Okay, now we've got to play a little bit of bullet hell as well. We've got to avoid these red spheres that want to murder us. And there are also bosses, by the way. You see that guy that's uh, got a blue outline? That's basically a boss. He drops a chest. And uh, you can then get things from him, obviously. Okay, got to be careful. Don't get hit by these charging guys. Let's try to be a little bit careful there. Bear in mind that these uh, these charging people, they literally will charge from a certain angle and you can dodge them very easily if you just change direction yourself. That's pretty much how that works. It's not that big a deal. All right, attract orb. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> I will take attract orb. This is absolutely amazing in my opinion. I personally think that attract orb is literally one of the best things you can get because it increases the range at which you pick up experience. And that may not seem like a really, really powerful thing, but in my opinion, it is one of the most useful. Because as I said before, the more experience you can gain in the shortest possible time, the better. Because the longer it takes you to level up, you are gonna then be weak and you're gonna be easy pickings for everyone. Oh, look at this. Ah, I got the power up. Yes, I got that power up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's destroy all these guys. Let's get another rune tracer level up. Let's kill them. Thank you very much. Ah, okay, there we go. That was, a oh dear. Now I put myself into a bad, a bad situation. Okay, I'm gonna have to run. I might be dead here, actually. I think I might be dead. Maybe. Maybe I'll be lucky. This is, yeah, no way. I'm dead. Yep. No way. No way. Not not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. But I did get some achievements right there. Get Rune Tracer to level 7 and survive 5 minutes with Pasqualina, which is okay. I mean, it's alright. It, it's not amazing, but there you go. That's basically the gameplay loop of the game. And now what you can do is you can then go to, you know, go over here. And I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refund all my power-ups. I've got 4,800. I'm gonna just go for Magnet once again. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go for luck a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the character screen and we're going to unlock some people. So for example, take a look at this. So there's Gennaro right there. Permanent plus one projectiles on all weapons, which is actually really good. Uh, there's Porter. Uh, permanent plus 30% area. Starts with temporary cooldown bonus. I don't know what that means. And also Poe here has a permanent plus 25% pickup radius, but minus... 30 HP. I'm going to unlock him. And the reason why I'm going to unlock him is because he's an old man. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's play on the dairy plant again. Bear in mind, he has garlic, by the way. He has garlic as a basic, um, a basic, uh, a basic ability. This is garlic, by the way. And I don't know whether you can see exactly what it's doing, but it basically kills everything without me having to do anything at all. Yes, uh, I mean generally that is what most of the uh, most of the abilities do, but you don't have to aim it. It is literally just a circle around you, and it does a massive amount. It really does. It's super super nice. Obviously later on down the line it is not going to be that useful, and you're going to need harder hitting abilities. But eventually, yeah, it's super super nice. I'm actually going to go for King Bible here. Generally. I'm going to go for an AoE build this time around, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Lightning Ring, King Bible, and Garlic, and anything else that has like an AoE focus, I'm going to be taking that. So there's the King Bible right there, it appears randomly, or uh, every, every few seconds basically, and it does damage around in a circle, and in my opinion it's pretty good. I don't think it's the best, but I definitely think it is, um, it's quite nice. I, I would say it's quite nice. Okay, we've got to be a bit careful here. Oh, this is bad. Hello there. Okay, yeah, there we are. Not too bad. All right, yeah, we've got to be careful of the more powerful enemies as well, because obviously garlic at the moment is pretty weak. So I will uh, have to do something about that. Okay, lightning ring level two or candelabra. Um... Yeah, Candelabrador. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, uh, augments area of attacks by 10%. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for that because we do have area attacks. Okay, here we go. Yeah, these ghosts should die really, really fast. Yes, give me that experience. Yes. Okay, so now this is, this is the kind of thing that Garlic can do. It's super, super strong. I love it. It's super fun to use. 
And weapons fire more projectiles. I don't care about that, actually. I'm going to go for lightning ring. Lightning ring level 2. Going to try and level that up as, uh, as fast as I possibly can. And we're basically just going to move in to these guys. Try and eliminate them. Try and get as much experience as possible. There we go. And we just got to look out for elites. That's all we got to do. Just look out for elites and then we should be absolutely fine. Okay, spinach or king bible level 2. I think we'll probably go for king bible level 2 because I'd like to get two projectiles. Basically what I want to try to do is I want to try to level up as many of my abilities as possible so that they gain base damage, they gain more projectiles, they gain all of that stuff. And that's generally, in my opinion at least, going to be more, more helpful eventually than just regular base damage for all of our abilities. But that's, mm, that's a little bit... It, it's depending on a number of things. So just, you know, if you're playing this, which I highly recommend doing, I mean, it is literally, I think, $4, $5 or something like that, or your regional equivalent. I paid two pounds for it. And I think that's a steal. I, I, I don't even know. Is there a supporter pack for it, actually? Because I might, I might literally just want to support the developer even further, to be honest, because this is just way too good for such a cheap price. It really is. Okay, come on. Give me that level. Yeah, there we go. All right, so garlic. and There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm probably going to take garlic or King Bible. Maybe King Bible level 3 or garlic level 3. I think garlic level 3 is probably going to be a little bit more useful at the moment. Because garlic is so, so good. And it's so funny, actually, that I'm saying garlic so many times in this, um, in this video. And it's literally like, oh, yes, garlic. Oh, yes, I like garlic. Oh, very good. Yeah, it's good on, good on pasta or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is super funny. Okay, wait a minute. Um, I'm having some issues here because obviously the old man does have uh, minus 30 max HP. So he is very fragile. And so as a result, you need to be very careful. And you need to be actually pretty good at the game, you know, in terms of like avoiding things. Obviously, I'm not. So I'm generally taking a lot more damage than I should. But still. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, we're going to take Lightning Ring level 4. Okay, I'm going to have to move up here. Got to be careful. Got to move into the weak enemies. Basically, w walking into weak enemies is much better than walking into stronger enemies, obviously. Because if you walk into stronger enemies, they're just going to murder you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that happens. Uh, but these, these uh, green lizards are um, not that strong. And so if I had a slightly stronger garlic or had slightly more damage, then I would probably be able to deal with them without too many difficulties. But yeah, it's a little bit problematic at the moment. I'm just going to try and be careful here. Uh, can I use this, uh, this cart here? Nope. Oh, what's that? What did that do? I have no idea what that... Okay, uh, did that call all those jellyfish or something? I have no idea. Okay. Let's just move this way. Be a bit careful. Can I level up, please? Almost. There we go. Phew. Okay, fantastic. All right, yeah, we're going to go for garlic. Thank you very much. That's going to do so much more damage now, and I should be able to move through these green lizards a little bit easier now. Oh dear. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay. Whew. Okay. A little bit, a little bit worried there for a second. A little bit worried. Um, I really need to find some roast chicken to be honest. That would be real nice, but it's highly unlikely I'm going to be able to find some that easily to be honest. Okay. Uh, let's just go down here real fast. There's a, there's an elite or whatever. Okay. I'm going to go for lightning ring level five. Okay, let me get all this. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, let's avoid this. Okay. Whew. Um, oh, okay. Well, where did these guys go? Why? How did they all die? Oh, they all died from the minecart, I assume, or something like that. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to activate the minecart, to be honest. That's probably going to be a bit of a, you know, a way that you can do this level much, much easier. But I'm generally not very good at interacting with the environment in those ways. 
because inlaid library where I was before didn't really have any of those systems at least from what I could discover I mean I'm not entirely sure anyway I'm gonna go for garlic level 5 as you might expect we're basically just gonna buff those up as much as we possibly can there we go uh, 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 there we go roast chicken Give it, get it, get it. There we go. Phew. Okay, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Okay, I'm gonna try and kill these two elites if I can. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit difficult to do that. Hmm. Yeah, with all these shielded lizard men. Yeah. Good luck. Okay. Uh, can I activate this somehow? Yep. There we go. <laughs> that was nice. Okay. Oh, no, I couldn't interact with the chest. Oh, no, I couldn't interact with the chest yet. Oh, I really wanted to, but never mind. All right, uh, we're going to go for King Bible level 3. I'm taking a little bit of damage. Don't really want that. Thank you very much. Let me just slip through there. Ooh, that was close. He, he's surprisingly spry for an old guy. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, what? What, what, do, what did so much damage to me right there? I think I literally just ran in to one of the red lizard men and just got chunked super super hard right there yeah that was that was real bad okay uh i think i might survive even less time than the previous character amazingly enough this is a boss this big um big lizard yeah this is bad i need to get all that experience i need to get that experience super badly and I need to pick up that chest as well. Can I pick it up? Yes. Okay. Phew. Oh, we got a good one. Look at that. We got a good chest. Okay, this is great. This is absolutely fantastic. It's going to give me a good amount of gold. I mean, obviously, I don't really care about gold that much. Although, it is very useful. But, yeah, generally, this, the upgrades are going to be really, really useful for us right now. Super, super nice. And as you can see, we're going to get level 4 King Bible. I think level 5. Yes, we're going to get level 4 King Bible 2. And we're also going to get some more garlic as well which is really nice. Okay, I'm going to have to move really fast here. Look at that. Now I've got so many of these things. I should have a much easier time, but <laughs> it's me we're talking about. Oh, dear. Okay, no. Yeah, like that. Yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. That's the kind of thing I'm saying. Anyway, as you can see, Lightning Ring actually dealt so much damage right there. It was doing so much more damage than you might expect. Okay, so I have 1,200 gold. Shall we unlock another character? Shall we unlock someone like... Um, starts with the plus 30% area? That sounds pretty fun. What does she actually use, though? That's the thing. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, now we're going to try a different level, okay? Because I'm tired of the dairy plant. Thank you very much. I'm going to go for inlaid library. Let's do it. All right, I have no idea what she has. Oh, what? What is this? What is this? What is this thing? I have no idea. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for Laurel, I guess. I mean, I, I should have... I mean, I really want to level up the knife because there's an achievement associated with that. And generally, you know, in, in games like these, I really like to complete the achievements. I mean, I'm not usually an achievement person, but yeah, generally it's uh, pretty fun to do that in this game. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, I understand. Yeah, that was the temporary cooldown bonus that she just gained at the very start there. Okay, I understand. Okay, so now she no longer has that. So now we're going to just have to play normally. All right. So it's good that I actually took Laurel then because I was thinking to myself, wow, that was... That was super, super powerful. But yeah, this is the inlaid library. I really like this place. I think it is super nice and a lot of fun. I'm not going to take pentagram this time. I will be taking armor instead. Can I pick up all of this? Thank you very much. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be problematic. This is going to be bad. I mean, generally I would have thought uh, I don't know, I would have thought that the uh, the old guy starting with garlic would have been amazing because garlic is as I say, generally a really really good thing to go for, but yeah, apparently uh, apparently not so much. We're going to go for the candelabra thing again and going to have to be a bit careful here. Yeah, her attacks are 
Mm, not the greatest. Generally, as I said before, I feel like Imelda is probably my favorite character so far. She just has the magic wand, which she starts with, and it's just so powerful for killing enemies initially, and then you can literally evolve it later on down the line. You can evolve every single weapon, by the way, once you've fully upgraded it, and once you have the prerequisite, um, the prerequisite power, whichever one that might be, then you can do so much damage with it and the magic wand specifically is super nice because it basically there it is right now by the way but i'm not going to upgrade it this time um we're going to try a different build but yeah uh the magic wand once it evolves it has no cooldown so it literally just continues firing at enemies and it also is able to penetrate multiple enemies as well so yeah uh it's super super strong okay i'm gonna get murdered here I need to get this experience though. Okay, here we go. So we can get garlic or we can get cross level 2. I think I'm going to get cross level 2. You know what I'd really like to get, actually? I'd like to get the Rune Tracer, if at all possible. I feel like Rune Tracer on this level would be really, really good because there's not really any up and down. It's more just left and right, you see. So Rune Tracer in these sort of tight areas would be really, really effective, in my opinion. So it would probably be a good idea for me to go for something like that soon. Okay, if I can actually get it. I'm going to just in continue increasing cross, though. Here we go. Ah, now this is... Mm. Okay, I'm going to go for Lightning Ring level 3. Generally, I'm going to try and focus on Lightning Ring as much as possible. I'd, l I'd like to go for other things as well, but I think that Lightning Ring actually deals a surprising amount of damage. And I'd like to try and maintain that as much as we possibly can. Okay, I'm going to go down here, get the, get the chicken, take a massive amount of damage in the process. There we go, we got another one. Okay, fire. Oh, weapons fire more projectiles. The duplicator could be really, really nice. I'm going to actually take duplicator just so that we have uh, more projectiles in general because all weapons fire additional projectiles. I mean, how can we say no to that, right? Okay, slip through. Uh, okay, that was real close. That was real close. Not, 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 not particularly good. Not particularly good. I'm going to go for another lightning ring right here. Gonna take this roast chicken, thank you. Oh yeah, we're leveling up real nice. Okay, so let's go for another cross right there. Look at all the projectiles we're throwing right now, look at that. We are literally clearing the level almost. With every single one of our cross throws, oh, well, technically not really, not 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 really anymore. But if they uh, if they happen to coincide, yeah, we're doing some pretty nice work right there. All right, yeah, another lightning ring, thank you. Okay, now you see exactly the reason why I really enjoy the library. I think the library is amazing. It just has. I, I don't know, it, it's obviously a lot simpler because you don't have to worry about going up and down so much, but it, in my opinion, it's just, I don't know, it just feels more fun. More fun to me, at least. There we go. All right, let's go for another cross base damage increase. Oh, 
Oh my. This is this is actually kind of crazy. I'm going to go for armor. And um, what's this? Oh, yeah. You're going to pick that up? Oh my. That is so crazy. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for lightning ring level six. Going to go for duplicator. Oh yeah. Give me more of that. Give me more of this. Oh yes. Give me all of this. Aha. This is fantastic. All right. Oh, now we're, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. We're, we're fine. We're, we're good. We're good. And, I mean, you see how much damage Lightning Ring is actually doing now, right? Yeah. I mean, you're seeing that. It is crazy. Okay, we're just going to open this. And we're going to get some more gold. And uh, eventually, when you actually pick up enough perks, um, you actually don't get any more. So once you reach the limit, you don't really get any more. And every single time you level up, you gain the ability to choose between health or gold. And then you are eventually going to get overrun, which is what happened to me on my uh, previous run with Imelda. And uh, generally, yeah. I think that's actually a really nice way of handling the game, to be honest. I think it's super, super good. And you can see here, look at how look at how much easier this is going for me right now. Literally. And it's just so nice. It's It just feels really, really satisfying. And the game... I, I, mean, I, I mean, I think you can probably tell from the fact that I have literally been playing for this long already. But the game has... Well, it has that one more run sort of feeling to it. And obviously, the, I think good, I think generally enjoyable games, at least uh, from a subjective perspective, obviously. I mean, you know, you, you don't have to share my opinion, of course, but generally, I very much enjoy these kinds of games. I really love the premise of it because it's basically like you are I mean it's basically like you're a character in Castlevania and you're going into a mansion and literally it's all about just killing enemies and trying to survive as long as you possibly can and in my opinion that is super super fun I think that that's a lot of a lot of satisfying gameplay to be had here and you just think to yourself oh no I failed after two minutes or whatever because my first run actually went okay i think my first ever run that is my first ever run i think i died within the first uh, well actually the first three minutes i think um but then i thought to myself okay let's try again let's try again and see if i maybe pick different powers this time around and it actually made a difference um, believe it or not yes believe it or not and um yeah and then i had uh, more and more fun i had different ideas about what kind of build i should go for and then you eventually get to a point like this where you are in a situation where it's just like, whoa, what's what's going on here? This is actually kind of crazy. And then you, yeah, you just absolutely enjoy the game to its fullest extent, which is super, super nice. Obviously, I haven't even gotten to the later stages in the other levels. And that's the reason why I have hyper mode unlocked. I have hyper mode unlocked on this particular stage, but I don't have hyper mode unlocked on anything else because I actually, um, as far as I'm aware, I did defeat the final boss. Um, there is actually, I, I think there is a final boss. I mean, I got an achievement for it. I don't know whether that's actually a thing, but yeah, it seemed like the final boss at least. And basically, um, yeah, once you get to a certain point, the game just goes, hey, we're going to insta kill you now because that's it. You know, sort of thing. So yeah, that's, that was actually pretty amazing. I'm going to go for spinach. 10% increased damage, and that uh, can potentially help us out. There we go. Look at it. I mean, just look at this. Look at how many kills I'm actually getting right now. Obviously, I have to stay away from enemies quite a significant amount to um, avoid taking damage. But, I mean, you can see the amount of clearage we have. A clearage, not, not a word, right? But yeah, clearance. Yeah, there we go. The amount of clearance that we have. Ah, oh, everything must go. <laughs> Uh, it's like those furniture stores, you know? It's like those b large furniture furniture chain stores that go, yeah, it's 80% it's, uh, it's off on our stuff every single day of the year. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to go for Laurel once again. I'm going to try to be a bit careful about my selections because what I would like to do is evolve these abilities. 
So I need to select something very specific to go along with it. I don't know what that is, by the way. I haven't looked it up or anything on a wiki or whatever. So um, I would not know about that. I'm kind of surprised I haven't gained any experience. Uh, experience gaining perks, to be honest. I actually would have expected that, but apparently not. Okay, let me just move in here. Okay, increase projectile speed. There's the cross, the last cross uh, level up. Level 8, I believe, is the last one, I think. I could be wrong about that. And then you get the evolution. What's this? Ah, this make, this just pauses them all. Yeah, that's not exactly what I want, to be honest. I would like the other one that actually makes it possible for us to... Um, uh, pick up all the experience. I think that could be more useful to me. Ah, this, this one. Yeah, there we go. This is going to be super, super fun. Okay, so I'm going to go for this one, I guess. We're going to go for that one. I don't know how good that is, actually, but we're going to just take it anyway and see how it goes. Uh, spinach. We'll go for spinach. We'll go for spinach. We'll go for candelabra. There we go. And there we have it. Okay, so now I can do it again if I want to. And we're going to gain even more. Okay, yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. Increase projectile speed by 10%. That doesn't really help us. I mean, the boomerang thing already has decent amount of projectile speed as far as I can see. So it's not really necessary, right? But uh, yeah, you can see exactly what's going on here. We're doing a fantastic job. At least I, f I feel like I'm doing pretty well this time around. The previous runs were not so good. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. I personally really love the library because it just has, I don't know, it has a simplicity about it where you kind of have, I don't know, a, a decent way of moving, you know what I mean? Like, for example, when you're given more directions to move in, that increases the difficulty exponentially. And that's probably the reason why I have problems with it and why I have, uh, you know, difficulties completing the other levels in uh, the same way. But, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so Lightning Ring has been upgraded now, and you'll see what happens when, yeah. You see that? Yeah, that's what Lightning Ring does. Yeah, as you can see, that is what Lightning Ring does now. It basically clears the entire screen of enemies, and it strikes twice every single time. And it actually does that every... What? Four seconds? Yeah. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, we're going to go for... I, I guess King Bible? I mean, I, mm, I don't know, actually. Um, I'm going to go for Laurel. I'm, I'm just going to level up Laurel. Uh, make sure that that's maxed out. Because that's basically an invulnerability shield until it gets broken. So it's like an absorb shield, so it takes a certain amount of damage, a certain amount of hits, and then it's gone, and then you start taking damage. So generally, it's really, really good, because it kind of protects you from a lot of incidental damage that you might take when you're moving through enemy packs and stuff like that, so it can really make a big difference. Okay, um, I'm going to go for more armor, but I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for King Bible next time I level up, I think. That could probably help me out quite a bit. Okay, we, we might be having some issues here. I actually need to level up. Oh, Rune Tracer could be really, really good. I'm actually going to take Rune Tracer here. Um, what I would really love to do is I would really love to get a chest. So if I could kill that, that uh, blue glowing bat to the left there, if I could kill that thing, I might actually be in a really, really good position. Okay, King Bible, I will be taking that. And then we're just going to try and level those up. Yeah, give me all that experience. Thank you very much. Okay, come on, bat. You got to you got to get killed. You got to get killed so I can pick up your chest. I don't know why he's still alive. He's just chilling. He's just chilling right there.
There we go. We got it. All right. Now let's hope that let's hope there's a, that there's an evolution in here because if there isn't an evolution, we're probably going to get overrun relatively soon. I think it is. Is it? No. Rune Tracer level three. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I was hopeful that the cross would actually get upgraded, but maybe I needed like projectile speed or something like that with it. Uh, that might have been what I needed to take beforehand to be able to level it up. As I say, I have not looked anything up about uh, character builds in this game because I generally find it quite fun to explore and to try things out for myself. But yeah. Ah, projectile speed. I will take that. Maybe that will make a difference. Okay, character moves faster. No, I'm going to take armor. I don't really care about moving faster at the moment. Generally, uh, what I found, by the way, is that movement speed on a map like this actually doesn't really help you because in the end, if you don't have enough damage or you don't have enough defense, you're going to get overrun. And it doesn't matter whether you have move speed or not. The main thing on the other maps is move speed. I think move speed really helps there, but in this one, maybe not so much. Okay, we've, we've kind of paused them for the moment. This is this is absolutely hilarious. The the lightning is just so incredible. And this, that's what I'm talking about. When you can evolve your weapons. Oh, everything. Oh, here we go. Massive wave coming in. Yeah, this is what happens, um, I think, every minute or so. Uh, this might be... Oh, no, no, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I was actually going to say, oh, this might be problematic. But no, it doesn't seem like it is. Okay, uh, we're going to go for more spinach, more damage. Thank you very much. Okay, things are going to start getting really, really dicey soon. And you may think, oh, isn't it already dicey? Yeah, it is actually already kind of dicey. But you can see here that, n well, basically none of the enemies are even getting close to me. And if they do get close to me, they get very, very easily killed very quickly. So... It's not that bad, but yeah, eventually what's going to happen is these guys will be too difficult for me to kill that soon. And then as a result, I'm going to take too much damage, my absorb shield's going to go down, and then I will be basically out of there. And there won't be anything else I can do about that. Ah, King Bible level 2, or I can increase sp spinach. I mean, come on, spinach is, is basically what I have to take, right? Oh, there's Medusa. Okay, yeah. Um, hmm. Things are getting a bit a bit more late game now. Yeah, so Medusa, whenever she spawns, uh, she's really hard to kill. Or at least I found that she's really, really difficult to kill. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here. We're going to have to move very smartly. But thankfully, because I have Lightning Ring leveled up so dramatically, I shouldn't have too many difficulties with clearing. Uh, because before I had a garlic build, I had a garlic build that was fully maxed out, and I also had axes. Oh, look at this. Character gains 8% more experience. Oh, thanks so much. What a waste. Why did you give that to me now, you imbeciles? Oh, well, never mind. I'm gonna go for Rune Tracer right here. I'm gonna go for Rune Tracer again. I'm gonna go for... Mm, yeah, Bracer. I'm gonna go for... Why do I have so... Why am I getting so much experience right now? I have no idea. Uh, King Bible, I guess. Okay, let's just continue to level ourselves up there. Let's go for Bracer level 5. Maybe we'll be able to evolve something once we get a chest available. Uh, but yeah, this is the kind of craziness that you can then see. And you can see here, I'm literally just walking through experience right now because that's it. That's the only thing that's on the screen apart from Medusa literally trying to get me. Okay, uh, let's go for a Tract Orb because the Tract Orb is amazing and I love it. Okay, here we go. Uh, Rune Tracer, I guess. And then another Rune Tracer. Maybe we'll be able to get Rune Tracer evolved. That would be super nice. I don't think I've seen that before. So that would be really, really fun. There we go, Medusa's dead. Yes. Okay, fantastic. This is looking real good right now. 
Because if we can get an evolution, please, please, please cross your fingers for an evolution. I don't know whether I have the prerequisites, you see, though. That's the main problem here. Because, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't. Okay, that's an attract orb. Yeah, that's definitely not going to help me at all. Okay, got to pick up the red orbs as well. The red experience orbs give you a massive chunk of experience, just so you know. Okay, we need to kill that bat. Kill that bat, please. Oh, it didn't drop a chest. Of course it didn't. Ugh. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. That's not that big a deal. But yeah, we are, I mean, literally, we're walking, we're walking through these guys. We're walking through these guys like it's a stroll in the park. And having no issues whatsoever, which is actually kind of cool, because the last time, uh, when I had my garlic build, right? When I had my garlic build with Imelda, I was kind of walking around here, and basically enemies were within an arm's length of me. I pretty much had no space to move, and obviously that's the point, you know, you don't have any space to move when you are using a garlic build because everything's going to die as soon as it enters garlic, pretty much, right? So that's generally what's going on there, but it's, uh, it's a very different experience to basically have so much space in between you and the enemies, it's kind of crazy. Wow. The amount of damage. This is, <laughs> this is actually bonkers. This is actually super, super bonkers. I mean, I know, I know, okay, don't, you don't have to tell me, but there are a lot of, a lot of different builds that are super, super crazy uh, in this game. And um, by all means, let me know yours. If you have played this game already, then by all means, let me know what your favorite run was. What, what, what's your favorite item that you used? Because generally, this is... I mean, look at this. This, this is crazy. I, I literally just came up with this build on the fly. Like, I didn't even think about this. I just thought to myself, yeah, this seems fun. This seems fun. This seems fun. And there you go. And that's basically what I did. But, you know, I know that there are many, many more that are going to be very efficient. Much, much better. But I don't really care about that because this is just so, so fun. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello there. That guy right there. That guy. The guy playing the guitar or the... The witch. I think it's a witch, actually. Not the guy playing the guitar. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I thought that. It, it just looks like that. It looks like he's playing the guitar. I don't know. But no, no it's a witch. Because she has a witch's hat on. So, yeah. Uh, let's try and see if we can maybe kill her. If at all possible. That would be quite nice. Come on. How, obviously, no, so that's the thing. They, they don't have health bars, so obviously you have no idea if you're actually close to killing them or whatever, so you just kind of have to stay away until they are actually dead, which is perfectly fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, here we go. We got another upgrade for the King Bible. Oh my! Look at look at the books. Look at the books just flying around me right now. That is super super cool. There we go. And there's another chest. Yeah, let me get that. All right, please. Can I have can I have an evolution, please? I would love to have one for the cross potentially. Or yeah, never mind. Okay, you just gave me an upgrade for the birds. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not exactly great. Yeah, level four. Thanks so much. Oh well, never mind. I think it will be fine. I think I think we're sufficiently powerful as it is. Um, but I'm, you know what? I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to look it up after I've played a couple more of the other characters and tried out some more of the builds and things like that. I'm gonna definitely have to look up, how, you know, how to unlock all of those evolutions because the evolutions, I, I, you know, with Imelda, I unlocked I think two or maybe even three weapon evolutions. I had the axe evolution. And I also had the other one, I, I can't remember what it is now, the, um, the, uh, was it, um, the Santa, Santa Powder or something? I don't know, I can't remember what it is now, but, yeah, I had that one, and I was like, whoa, this is, this is actually kind of crazy. Okay, so there's another level up right there, gonna get King Bible, gonna get King Bible, there we are. Look at, look at them, look at the books, oh, we're slapping them with the books, yes, that's exactly what we want to see.
Yeah, this is... Oh, oh, there's a big guy. All right, there is literally one of the final bosses in the game. And uh, I don't know whether we're going to be able to survive. I mean, I think we probably will, right? I, I mean, it seems pretty easy at the moment. I don't think we are having too many difficulties surviving right now. But if I make a mistake, that could very easily change. Let's just say that. And you know me. I mean, it's famous last words, right? Famous last words for me to say that because on the previous one with the old guy that I was playing, I said, oh, you know me, uh, and then I just went splat moments later. So, yeah. All right, let's uh, take another one of these. Give me all this experience. Yeah, and we, we actually took a power-up that literally killed everything on the screen. Yeah, like we needed more of that. Oh, there's a chest. Give me that. Yeah, oh, there's three upgrades in this one. Oh yes, I love it. Oh, whenever you get a chest and there's three upgrades, oh, it's such a wonderful feeling. It really is such a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Okay, what are we getting? Did we get an evolution? Was that an evolution right there? No, that's just armor and... I know that that's armor, but what's the others? Oh, attract orb and attract orb level four. What do you bet? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine because now you can see, look at how far away I can literally pull experience to me. It's pretty amazing, right? So we're just going to continue leveling up all of our stuff right here. Oh, this is this is crazy. I, I feel like I would really like to have run speed now, though. Like, move speed would really make a huge difference to, well, everything. And maybe I could get an upgrade in terms of... Um, uh, I don't know, like an evolution or something like that. I would really, really love that. That would be super nice. Generally, the evolutions are just really fun to watch because they change fundamentally how your um, how your abilities look as well. So you know, aesthetically, they change exactly you know what you're seeing on the screen. So it's um, actually really cool. Now we're getting witches coming in, and this is where things are going to get real dicey, okay? Because it's it's the 20, 20 second mark, the 22 mark, 22 min mark, should I say? <laughs> uh, look at me getting flustered, even though I'm, I'm actually perfectly fine, but you know, uh, this is where things are starting to get real, real mean, you know? Oh, oh, there's a chest. I want that chest. Give me that. Ah, oh, never mind. Didn't get anything amazing from it, but we are going to get an upgrade. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one. I'm not even going to hope for an, uh, for an evolution from uh, you know at this point. I think I might have taken the wrong combination of things because you need some other things to be able to activate the evolutions. So yeah, I, I probably took the wrong thing, unfortunately. Well, this is where I actually don't know whether I can die at this point. And that's, I think, one of the things that you got to bear in mind. Because once this point has been reached, this is what's going to happen now. You can add 25 to your gold, co gold coins total, or you can restore 30 hit points. Well, obviously, I don't need hit points, so I'm just going to be taking the coins all the time. But that's generally what is going to happen now every single time I level up. Because I don't have the ability to acquire any additional perks. So, yeah, that's generally what's going to happen now. I wonder when the big guy is going to come along and say hi to me. Because last time he came along, killed everything. Oh, okay, this is a, this is a big wave. This is a big wave right here. 
Get, can I deal with it? I think I probably can. I mean, all things considered, I think I probably can. But I'm going to need to maybe do a little bit of evading, potentially? I mean, I'm not sure. Most of my abilities have the ability to knock back as well, which is super powerful in this case because you literally just knock people back away from you and you take no damage. And I mean, you can see that quite clearly happening here. Another 25 gold coins. I'm actually not entirely sure how many kills I got with my in my other run either, but we've gotten 25,000 kills so far. Oh, here come bats. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why they would be summoning. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, this is the final boss as far as I'm aware. This is the final boss. And he is... Um, I, I don't even know whether he's really damaging or whatever. But um, yeah, I didn't get hit by him before. So I'm probably going to try and make sure that I don't get hit by him this time. So I'm going to have to move around like a, like a bit of a fool at the moment. And we're going to have to move through enemies, which is not good in general, because my damage shield has now gone. Okay, this is... I, I might actually lose here. I think I might actually die. I, I need to wait a little bit for my damage shield to come back. But the thing is, he's going to be continuing to close the gap, you see. He's going to continue to close the gap, and I am not going to be able to stop him, you see. My other build with Imelda had this thing called the, um... Uh, I can't remember what it was called now, but it's basically a uh, freeze cannon. So it shoots in like a sort of clock formation. So basically it shoots from, you know, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock and so on and so forth, all the way around. And um, it freezes everything in a line. And that actually made a huge difference to the um, survivability of that build because I was able to pretty much move through units whenever I would freeze them. And it was so, so simple for me to do that. So yeah, that's kind of... Oh, we killed him. I can't believe we actually did that. Okay, we, we actually killed him. And uh, let's take a look and see what we get. Because uh, obviously... Oh, I, yeah, I just get the... Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, I forgot about that. We're just going to get big bags of coins now. All right, so Medusa is here, but she's just a regular unit now, so we don't really need to worry about her potentially. I mean, she's obviously not a regular unit. She's obviously got much more HP and much more damage than most, but she is still not that big a threat anymore. So we shouldn't have to worry about her at all. Let's see what happens when we get to the 27th minute, actually. I'm actually unsure when the insta-kill comes in. There we go. Okay, there's even more. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, there's a chest. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I assume that they're, ju they're just going to give me the big bag of coins again, aren't they? I mean, I'm level 72 right now. Yeah, they're just going to give me the big bag of coins. That's absolutely fine. No problem at all there. It kind of makes me wonder whether I should even bother picking up the chests now. I mean, I, I probably should for the, for the upgrades and things like that, but yeah. I don't know whether that would be worth it. Oh, we are... Um we, we might have some issues. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not sure. Can I survive this? Mm. Uh, uh, hmm. I actually don't know. I need to survive another 20 seconds, I think. Possibly. There's another chest this way, but do I care about that? Not really. Oh, I'm leveling up massive amounts right now. Okay. Um. Okay, I've survived to the 28th minute. Okay. Um, I really wish I had like a teleport or something like that. A tele Oh, oh, wait, I'm clearing the way. I'm clearing the way here. Oh, this is good. Thank you. This is real nice. Uh, unfortunately, there's another Medusa that has now spawned. 
And we have a lot of beholders attempting to murder us. More coins, please. Thank you. Okay, I basically just have to de delay as much as possible. I can continue to move this way, but I need to wait. Oh no, I'm taking damage now, you see. I am actually taking damage now because my damage shield is being eaten up. Uh, I'm gonna actually take some health just to get back to full HP, just just because I'm actually a bit worried. Oh, 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 hello there. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, please no. Okay, okay, ah, uh, yeah, they, they, okay, this is, th this is somewhat bad. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I? Yep. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Did I almost, I think I, I think I might have actually been able to achieve 30 minutes. That would have been amazing, but uh, there you go. All right, so I, I got some more achievements right there. I got some more unlocks, which is always really nice. Oh, look at that. Recover a, t recover a total of 1,000 health. Evolve the lightning ring. Yeah, I did that. That's, uh, that's actually pretty cool. All right, so um, let me actually just take a quick look. We unlocked another character. Another two characters, actually. We unlocked uh, Clarice, um, permanent... 0 0.5 uh, HP per second and plus 50 max health. Okay, that guy's actually crazy. And we have this one. Gets more projectiles every 20 levels. Ooh, that's a pretty late game kind of character. Okay, we're just going to unlock all of these for the moment. Oh, what's this guy? Look at that. That guy looks kind of weird. All right. Well, whatever the case, that's going to be it for this episode. I got super carried away by this game, as you might expect. It's still in early access on Steam. But it is super cheap. You really should pick it up. Try and support the uh, support the developer because it is just so incredibly fun. It really is. And um, with that, uh, yeah, I thank you very much for watching, I guess. And I'll see you next time.